This video is about nerve agents. Nerve agents are some of the most dangerous chemicals humans have ever discovered. All chemical weapons are considered weapons of mass destruction, and, as the most potent of these, nerve agents are comparable to nuclear weapons in their destructive potential. Fortunately, since their discovery, in pre-World War II Germany, there have only been a handful of attacks using nerve agents, and many of them have been targeted on individuals, for example, the 2018 Salisbury poisonings, or the 2020 attempted poisoning of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny, rather than indiscriminate attacks. In order to understand the mechanism of nerve agents, it is first necessary to understand how neuromuscular junctions work. In the human body, nerves carry electrical signals from the brain through the central nervous system to and from muscles. In order for signals to travel from a nerve to the muscle that, uh, that it is attempting to activate, neurotransmitters are released across synapses called neuromuscular junctions. The neurotransmitter used in this process is called acetylcholine. The acetylcholine released from the motor neuron diffuses across the synapse and complexes with the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, which populate the cell membrane on a muscle fibre. This results in the muscle fibre contracting and is what allows vertebrates to move. If this were all that happened, you would not be able to relax your muscles, and so, to facilitate this, another protein is present in the, uh, in the synapse. This is acetylcholine esterase, and it continuously breaks down the acetylcholine into acetic acid and choline by hydrolyzing the ester, which is why it's called acetylcholine esterase. These products can be recycled by the body to replenish the acetylcholine in the motor neuron. Many nerve agents are organophosphates. However, there is also a sizable group, which are carbamates. All nerve agents have the same mechanism of action, and this is by inhibiting acetylcholine esterase. The nerve agents structurally mimic acetylcholine esterase, which allows them to fit well into the active sites of enzymes. However, for organophosphate nerve agents, in this case sarin, a uh, permanent um, phosphorus oxygen carbon um, covalent bond with the acetylcholine esterase forms, and uh, this results in it not disassociating from the enzyme and blocking the further action of the enzyme. The result of this is that acetylcholine cannot be removed from the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors and the muscle fibres, once contracted, remain so permanently, causing a complete loss of muscle control, convulsions, and ultimately death by asphyxiation, as the muscles of respiration are paralysed, or as excessive salivary ex secretion obstructs the airways. Because the nerve agent is not usually found in the body, a synthetic antidote must be used to cure cases of organophosphate poisoning. One such antidote is pralidoxime. Pralidoxime associates with the other parts of the active site in the enzyme to the nerve agent, which puts it in the correct place to react with the organophosphate inactivated ac acetylcholine esterase in an SN2 reaction, uh, forming a harmless ester, which can be dealt with by the body, and activates the enzyme once again, allowing the neuromuscular junction to restart its normal function. Due to the obvious danger to those who are manufacturing and storing nerve agents, binary nerve agents were developed. These were nerve agents which could be produced by simply mixing together two relatively harmless chemicals which could be stored separately. An example of such a nerve agent is VX, an organophosphate which can be made by reacting the precursor QL, a harmless liquid, and hot elemental sulphur. Finally, the Organisation for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons has made great progress towards their aim of ridding the world of chemical weapons since it began in 1997, and has worked with 193 states to disarm and restrict access to precursors such as QL. 
If you wish to learn more about their important mission, you should visit www.opcw.org.